I'm here at ICC Table Tennis Center with champion Lily, U.S. national champion and U.S. Olympian. So I just had a couple questions for her today. Thanks for meeting with me, Lily. Yeah, thanks for having me. Alright, so the first question is, um, you just came back from Europe. What was your daily training schedule when you were in Europe? Um, so my daily training schedule is normally five to six hours of practice every day, waking up at around 8.30, practice from 9.30 to 12-ish, and then go back, eat, uh, take a nap, and then afternoon training from 3 or 3.30 to 5.30 or 6 around, and then we had physical training almost every day. Wow, okay. And would that be like five days a week, or six, or seven uh, days a week? It would be about six days a week. We okay. had um, Wednesday afternoons and Sunday afternoons off. Okay, okay. And for the morning and afternoon training sessions, would they be similar, similar format, or would you do differently or the same? Um, morning and afternoon trainings were a little bit different. Uh, mornings were more on uh, footwork drills mm -hmm. and technique, and then afternoon we played a lot more matches and okay. kind of game style things, and also uh, afternoons were more, more focused on multi-ball as well. Okay, excellent. Um, what, was, what would you say is the difference between um, training in Europe, training in China, and training here at ICC in the U.S.? Um, well, it's China and Europe are definitely very different from the U.S. Okay. Um, in the U.S., I mean, it's, it's kind of like an amateur okay. sport, you know. Right. It's mainly, everyone's mainly focused on school, the table tennis is on the side, so right, it's difficult right. to play, you know, professionally. We only have like a handful of like, professional players in right. the U.S. And then you go to Europe and China, and almost everyone who plays table tennis is, is very professional. It's mm -hmm. their job, it's mm -hmm. their full-time, you know, activity. So I guess that would be the main difference between U.S. and China and Europe. Okay. But then between China and Europe, I would say, um, I guess it's, it's a lot more focused on matches and okay. league experience in Europe, I would say. In China, okay. it's more focused on, from my experience right, personally, right, right. when I was yeah, in China, yeah. um, it was more focused on, like, technique and physical, so, I mean, I think those are the two main differences, at least. Okay, so is that why you chose Europe instead of China for the fall? Yeah. Because you wanted more matches? Right, yeah, I went to Europe because I wanted to play the league there and okay. get more experience. How'd you do in the league? Um, I did quite well, I'd say. I only lost one match my time there. I oh, lost wow. to Liu Jia from Austria, who's wow. like top 20 in the world. So. Okay, excellent. So you'd be practicing during the week and then you'd play the league on weekends? Yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. And the last question is, what would be a, a couple main keys to success for younger players that would want to follow in your footsteps? Um, personally, for me, I think the main key to success is to have passion in what you do. I think passion um, really drives you to accomplish what you want, and I think hard work and dedication and everything else just really stems from passion. So, you know, if you, if you really, really want it, I really believe that you can truly do it. Okay, thanks, Lily. Yeah.